with the 37th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, it looks like Jalen Polk, the receiver out of Washington, will be heading to the New England Patriots. We knew a receiver was going to come to New England in the second round at some point, either with the 34th or the 68th pick, but the... The Patriots actually gave us a little bit of a trade. They actually ended up trading with the Los Angeles Chargers, giving up that 34th pick, trading down to the 37th, and in return, they did pick up a fourth round pick, the number 110. They also already have the 103rd pick as well in that fourth round, so looks like they can add another player in this year's draft. The wide receiver, that was the top of their list. They needed to add some resources for their newly acquired quarterback, Drake May, and I think somebody that just played for a national champion contending program like Washington. I think that he obviously understands what a good quarterback is with Michael Penix, and I do enjoy J what Jalen Polk has to offer here. Obviously, at age 22, he's six foot one, about 200 pounds, and I do think he's a more physical wide receiver in this draft class here. He's a natural athlete, and that's what you got to love about him. He was a three-year starter for Washington, and I think he's just kind of a wide receiver that you're going to do well here. Climbing the ladder, he's a ball-winning wide receiver. That's what New Numerous NFL analysts are saying, even Tom Downey here at Chat Sports is going to give him wide receiver number 13 here. He's got an impressive blend of strength and explosiveness. As of right now, he's just like every other rookie coming into this league. He's got some things he's got to work on. For Jalen Polk, it's going to be route running. The good news is when I do watch his highlights here, he does really well with his start and stop. So I do think he has the capability of to be in an offensive scheme where he is going to be a good catch and go type of wide receiver. The number one thing that I love about drafting Polk along with Drake May is that Polk excels with a back shoulder positioning. Drake May, as we know, that can be definitely one of his resources here in the pocket. I think these two are going to go hand in hand. And what with what New England already has, I think that Polk can make an immediate impact. As you guys can see, in 2023, 69 receptions. He went for nearly 1,200 yards there in 2023 for Washington. He averages about 17 yards a catch, and he had nine touchdowns in that season. Obviously, he is an offensive asset. He is a natural athlete, and I'm really excited to see what he's going to do with a little bit of NFL coaching on there as well. If his only weakness, not only, but main weakness here is to improve that route running, that's going to come with time, and that can come with the New England offensive structure. So with Jalen Polk being the number 37 pick here for the New England Patriots, being the second pick that they do have this year, I want you guys to go on ahead and grade this pick of Jalen Polk from Washington, give it an A, B, C, D, or F. I'm just going to give it an A. I think there are still a lot of great wide receivers still on the board at this point, but I do think if you did give up a couple of draft picks to get him at 37, I think it's great. I think he and Drake May can definitely be great assets. They're coming from two great programs in college football. So overall, I give it an A. You guys can go on ahead and drop your pick down below. I do think that he will still need a little bit of work, but when you're going to have an elite athlete like that, you're going to have a pretty good prospect here. Mainly, he can work outside and inside when he is receiving, which I do think is going to be a little bit of an asset here when you've got a player like Drake May. From the reports that I have read, he doesn't need to be on ball targeted. He doesn't need to have that perfect hit me in the chest, hit me above the head type of pass. The fact that he can use his long arms and really try to excel, try to help out Drake May when it comes to finding something with a quick slant or even an up and over, like I said, a back shoulder pass, I think that with nine touchdowns in his bag in the college career, we could be getting a scoring machine here for the New England Patriots. Like you guys saw, his stats are only going to get better when you're playing with a strong, athletic quarterback. Like Michael Penix, I see a lot of that with Drake May. He obviously knows how to have that heavy arm. He knows how to be that athlete. He knows how to be a scramble quarterback when needed. So if it can't find a poke that's open, I think they're going to be able to work with each other very well here when it comes to schemes and it comes to routes. With that being said, this is just the second pick for the New England Patriots in the 2024 NFL Draft. If you guys are excited and you want more coverage, well, you found the right place. We're going to have everything you guys need about the Patriots Draft and the future Patriots Drafts here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. Go on ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And I would be a terrible host if I was not letting you guys know about a fantastic sponsor here on Patriots Today as well. I'm talking about game time. If you guys are planning on going to any concert, if you're planning on going to any sporting event 
in the Boston area or even outside of it, I would highly suggest using Game Time. This is the ticketing app that I go to whenever I'm trying to get some kind of concert tickets. Obviously, being in the Chat Sports office, we're here in Texas. So thankfully, I did get a nice concert going to Zach Bryan later this year. And of course, I had to use Game Time. Why? Because when you use Chat Sports, code C H A T S P O T. RTS, you're going to get $20 off on your purchase. The one thing I love about Game Time that not a lot of other ticketing apps have is that when you are using this app, it will actually show you what you will be seeing from your seat. It's really hard to tell from that overview type of picture, no details. So Game Time lets you know where you're going to be sitting, what it's going to look like, and at the lowest price, come on, man, it doesn't get much better than that. Using that code, Chat Sports is going to get you $20 off of your first purchase there. I use Game Time constantly. All pricing shows you your total cost up front, none of those hidden fees. You can buy tickets in seconds with just two taps. And I get it, life happens. Event cancellation protection is always there as well. Download Game Time, sign up for an account, and you guys can get $20 off by using C H A T. S-P-O-R-T-S, -S, Chat Sports for $20 off. Let's jump back in here to Jalen Polk. Obviously, needing a wide receiver was one of the top priorities here. We're going to take a look at the depth chart here in just a moment. I was talking to Nick Roloff, just in case you guys are like, who the heck is this girl? Why is she on Patriots today? Well, I was talking with your host, Nick Roloff, about why you guys need a wide receiver so much and what can somebody like Jalen Polk do here for the Patriots. And he said, look, anybody they draft, as a wide receiver, he pretty much is going to be your wide receiver one. And I do think that Polk has the ability, being in that national championship program, well, na national championship contender program, to really get off on a good foot here. When you look at the depth chart, obviously only picking up K.J. Osborne here in the free agency, you still got Kendrick Bourne still, being, still dealing with a bit of an injury here. Demario Douglas there, your wide receiver four. But Jalen Polk, knowing what he's done in his college career, being 22 years old, I don't see why he can't start off with this rookie quarterback coming in, Drake May, who we know is going to be dealing with inexperienced receivers there as well. I think as these two start to learn together, you are going to be able to give Drake May resources, which is one of the top priorities now, drafting Drake May and then Jalen Polk. The athletic Dane Brugler, a master when it comes to NFL draft prospects, he said Polk must continue developing as a route runner, but he is a natural athlete addressing the football, the three-level instincts, and pro-level toughness, the potential NFL starter. His game is reminiscent of Josh Palmer's when he was coming out of Tennessee, and he graded him number 74 overall. Look, I'll listen to what Dane Brugler has to say, and if he's going to tell me that this kid's a natural athlete, of course he's going to have to fix his route running. That's what every rookie's going to have to do when they're coming in now to an offensive scheme. I think that Polk, overall, you can't teach natural. You can't teach natural abilities. And the way that this man knows how to climb the ladder, the way that this man does not need a direct target extremely to the chest, he knows where to find a nose for the ball, I think you're getting a steal here with the 37th pick in the 2024 NFL draft. So with that being said, knowing that the Patriots also traded with the Chargers, they dropped a few picks. Now they picked up another one here in the fourth round, which means they can still get a lot of resources here for your Patriots. There's still one more pick that they should have here in the third quarter. Of course, when we're filming this, you never know when trades are going to happen. The NFL draft, that's what's so fun about it. Who do you guys want the Patriots to draft with number 68? Who do you want the next draft pick to be for the New England Patriots. Go on ahead and drop that comment down below. And like I said, go on ahead and hit that sub button for me. The next draft pick, the one after that, the one after that. We're going to be talking about it here on Patriots today. We want you guys to be completely in the know with your favorite New England team. All you guys have to do is subscribe.